Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick thank you. I have now reached 50 subscribers, which I know is a tiny little milestone, but it feels great nonetheless. Hopefully we can keep this channel growing. I'm having a super fun time doing it, so we'll see what happens. Today I bought myself a bonsai tree and it is possibly the best purchase I've ever made. I'm so happy with it, so I can't wait to spend my life with my new tree. Currently, he, she, it, them is nameless. So I will be taking suggestions as to what is a great name for my brand new bonsai tree. Which looks great in my flat. If you check out my Twitter and wherever else I've posted it, it looks amazing. Today is a tattoo day. So I thought what a great opportunity to talk about tattoos, all about them. My tattoos, past tattoos, future tattoos, tattoos in general, I love tattoos. All kinds of shit about tattoos. Away from you sex a thing. I haven't counted in a very long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a total of 22 at the minute, I think. It's not that easy to count. This is my first tattoo. As you can see, it moves a little bit from when I was 16 and incredibly skinny. So I'm not sure I would recommend getting a tattoo on the belly as an, an amazing place. But we live and we learn. This is of my first dog. He died when I was 16 years old, so about six years ago now. And three months after he died, just before my 17th birthday, I decided to get my first tattoo of him. A lot of my tattoos were done in a studio called Rain City in Manchester. I think probably the best studio in Manchester. I went to see about four different artists there whose work can be showcased. This was by a guy called Enrico. I got quite a few of a dude called Dan Morris there, who's a super cool guy. He did this meat cleaver and my spider's web and my deer skull. Actually all in the same session because he worked super, super quickly. I got loads of tattoos by a lady called Barbara. She has done so many different styles on me. She's got Go Go Yubari from Kill Bill here. This fabulous Mandela. This Russian prison tattoo. Most of them I just like because of the aesthetic. Some of them do actually mean something. So this one on my arm here is a little kiss mark. I actually got this as a matching tattoo with nearly all of my family. My sister, brother, other brother, mum, and best friend who is also my sister all got the same tattoo. Most recently, I have got this one done at Tattoo & Co in Brighton by a good friend of mine, Federica. Um, she designed this for me and slapped it on a couple of months ago and then just today she added this new one. No, I do not. Why would you regret something that is like permanently marked on your body? That's like saying, do you regret being born? Like, it's too fucking late now. You can't change it. Even if I had a tattoo that didn't like it, reminds me of the time when I did like it. So no, don't ever regret a tattoo. Don't believe in it. Regret is a wasted emotion. My poor mother. At first, when I first started getting tattooed and piercings, I got an earring when I was 14 and it was like a huge, huge, huge deal. My first tattoo was pre-discussed and pre-arranged and she was okay with it because it meant something and she also was very emotional about the dog dying. After that, I just kind of stopped caring about asking permission and just started getting them. Now it's just like, ugh, he's got another one who gives a flying butt. There is no way around it, tattoos cost a lot of money. If you are getting a tattoo because it's cheap, you're doing it wrong, definitely. No offence, sorry if that offends you, but price should not be the thing that you are thinking about when you get a tattoo. To give you an example, this chest tattoo cost me £600, which might seem like a lot of money, but to me it is an investment for the rest of my life. Bigger pieces are obviously more expensive. Different artists cost different amounts, some people charge by hour, some people charge by piece. Do your research beforehand, discuss it with your artist beforehand, and don't get a tattoo based on the price. Get a tattoo based on how much you like the artist. For the love of God, please. Currently, this space all around here is really bothering me. So I want to fill up all of my arms eventually. I have not thought too much about what's going to go where. I don't really plan it that far in advance. I kind of just get an idea in my head and then book it. I really, really want my hands and neck tattooed, but I'm definitely waiting until my arms are finished before I do that. I'm probably going to say my chest, just because it is so fucking stunning, in my opinion, and it gets me the most attention, and I am an attention whore. I'm fucking broadcasting myself on YouTube topless right now. 
attention is clearly my thing. My least favorite is probably the peace symbol on my ankle. Just because not a lot of actual artistic design went into it, right? It's just like a, a solid black thing that already exists and you can print it off Google Images. The biggest thing for me, I think, is choosing the right artist. The easiest way to do this, I found, is Instagram. Just using hashtags or your explore function. And just following all of the artists, all of the studios on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you do have any questions or comments about the things that you've seen today or things that you'd like to see, please, please, please let me know. I love hearing from you guys and I love interacting with everyone. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, spare my face, whatever you want. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye! Shake it off. Actually, really, I'm starting to hate that now, so I might stop doing it. Hopefully, I'll get to get topless again. Woo!